What's up, man? 25 gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to focus on how to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Man NFL 25. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and uh, leave a little bit of a reminder for you guys to check out my live stream channel, twitch.tv slash cnbauer. I'm going to try to get uh, back on going live there. If you guys want to get notifications for whenever I go live, you can follow me on that channel, and it'll send you an email notification whenever I start live streaming. Also, guys, another quick reminder, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button in the bottom left corner of your screen. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that uh, feature so that you guys can keep up to date on the videos that I post related to Madden 25. Okay, guys, now moving on, we have a Super Bowl matchup of the Denver Broncos and Seattle Seahawks. And one of the things we know is that the C Seattle Seahawks have uh, the best secondary in the NFL right now and arguably the best corner in the NFL right now. And we're going to show you how to beat man-to-man -man defense against them, uh, something that would, you know, obviously have been useful for the Niners to do on that last play when Crabtree just couldn't win the one-on-one -on -one battle with, um, couldn't win that one-on-one -on -one battle with, uh, uh, Sherman here. So we're going to show you a play. It's one of my favorite plays in the game. The play is called Giant Slot Chair. We're going to make a couple of adjustments to make it a little bit better. But it's one of the best plays in the game because it can beat so many defenses. And uh, let's hop into it, showing you how to beat man-to-man -man defense in Man 25. What we like to do with this play is we like to put No Sean Marino on a wheel route and Demarius Thomas on a zig route. Then we're going to click on Wes Welker and we're going to motion him in two steps to the right. And he's our first read, and we'll see there, right there, we're going to beat man-to-man -man with our very first read here right off the bat, having a quick read to Wes Welker uh, against man coverage. Our second read on this play is going to be Nosha Marino, which if they're in man coverage, he's going to be able to get nice separation on the outside there. Our, th our third read is going to be Julius Thomas uh, on that zig route. And here I'll just show you that route does, does beat man-to-man -man coverage, especially the tight ends. It also can beat man coverage to slot receivers if they do not press the two-man under. Um, that's just kind of a quick tip. If they don't man, you have to manually press out of two-man under to do that. Um, and then our next read is this angled post, and this is going to take a little bit time to develop. You're going to have to step in the pocket in next-gen Madden because of the pressure that they're going to get from the outside rushes. So you want to step up into the pocket a little bit here, step up, step up, and then you're going to go ahead and hit Eric Decker over the middle on that nice post route. This route will also beat a lot of zone defenses as well. Okay, guys, and then our final read, we can uh, turn this comeback into a user catch if we want to uh, right there. We can also um, turn it into a quick read if we want to maybe read this before we look to the post to Decker. If we look, look, not there, not there, and then we can go ahead and throw that comeback for a user catch, which I'll be breaking down how to user catch comebacks uh, pretty soon uh, in next gen. Man, it's not too much different than current gen. Or we could wait a little bit longer and wait till he comes back to the ball. Uh, and uh, there you see that nice separation it gets. That's Richard Sherman, probably the best corner in the game on him. And as you see right there, I mean, it's it's pretty consistent. You're going to get that separation. You want to wait till his icon lights up and you want to pass lead it down so that Sherman cannot recover on the ball. And another route combination you might mix up with this is maybe put Demarius Thomas on a smart routed out route. Smart routed out routes are a very good way to beat man defense in Madden NFL 25 because of how good separation they get. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully this is going to give you some insight on a, yet another play to beat man-to-man -man defense in Madden NFL 25 and, and hopefully it gets you guys minds taking on some other things you can do to help your offense perform a little bit better in Madden 25. And real quick before I go, I want to show you one last thing on this play. As a late, late read, so late in the pocket, Wes Walker, as you saw right there, he's going to break open over the middle uh, if given time. Now, obviously, this is going to be situations if they're like playing massive fag D, uh, dropping everybody back. But there you see Wes Walker over the middle gets very good separation, and you can count on that 100%. Thank you guys for your time today. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. And be sure to come back for tomorrow for another Ben.